This is the second of a short series of videos targeted at parents to help them understand the GL assessment results they have been sent. The bar chart on your child's report shows a score in each of the four aspects of cognitive ability. Results are compared with those of thousands of children across the world to give an age standardised average score of 100. The centre of the bar chart shows scores between 90 and 110. Scores in this range are considered average. In the example, the child has a verbal score that is well above average and a quantitative score that is slightly above average. What does this mean? A child with a high verbal score will perform well in verbal tasks, such as discussion and debate, or in tasks requiring reading and writing. This is of benefit in many different subjects within the curriculum. The quantitative score shows how well a child can think with numbers and gives a strong indication of how well a child will perform in mathematics. Students with high non-verbal scores often prefer to learn by doing things rather than writing or discussing, making them very good in practical subjects such as design and technology. Students with a high spatial ability often see ideas very quickly. But because they see solutions to problems quickly, they may need to develop their verbal skills to explain how they arrived at an answer. A big question that many parents ask, can cognitive ability be improved? At Olashuri, we believe very much in the growth mindset. Every child has a certain amount of natural cognitive ability, but much can be done to develop this in school. Our results show the cognitive ability genuinely improves with the time students spend at Olashuri, and that the improvement is faster than the child's natural development. The great value of CAT4 testing is that it enables us to identify the strengths of each child, but also the areas in which we can help them improve. Thank you.